Welcome back. We're doing something a little different today. This one just seemed really funny to me, and I wanted to watch it, and I wanted to watch it with you guys, uh, because I think that makes it funnier. If I'm not talking to myself, I can instead talk to my camera. <laughs> this is a cut video. If you're familiar with cut or Jubilee, they're kind of the same thing. It's like mini game shows where it's like, we brought in 10 people and they have to figure out who's the biggest Harry Potter fan and to win $1,000. But cut does lots of ones with like dating where it's like, you know, they'll bring in 10 guys and one girl and the girl has to like sift through and pick a winner and they go on a date or whatever. It's stuff like that. I'm attracted to losers. That's the title. I'm attracted to losers. So, despite what you've been told, there's hope for you. I'm very curious as to what one's definition of a loser is. Like, is it like, oh, I'm attracted to losers. Like, I like people that, I don't know, play mini golf. Not a roast for mini golf players, but just like, you know, something general that's like kind of harmless where it's like, really, that's like, that's your qualifying loser trait? Like, what is it? Oh, they play World of Warcraft classic. Or worse, they play World of Warcraft. I don't know. We're going to find out together. We asked Emily to rank strangers' attractiveness on a scale from 1 to 10. Hi. Hi. Tell me what you're doing here today. Today I am ranking people's attractiveness. I feel bad just automatically like judging someone based off of their appearance. You never judge people off their appearance. Occasionally, yeah, I can't say that I don't. I do sometimes see people that look cool and attractive and I'm like, ooh, I like you. I want to be friends with you just based off of how they look. Bro, same. I'm so fast. I'm like freaking the Terminator. You know, he scans someone and it's like, boop, 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 boop. that's me with people. I'm like, uh, they got the fashion sense of a fifth grader. It looks like their mom cuts their hair. Oh, they drive a BMW. You know, like, <laughs> it's just like, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> There. You look at someone, you get their whole vibe. Sometimes you're proven wrong. I feel like I'm usually pretty spot on all the time. So I do judge people based on their appearance. How are you gonna do it? I think I'm gonna base most of my rankings off of what I think society standards. Society standards? I thought this was how you rate attractiveness. I don't wanna know what society says is attractive. I already know that. Say my face is like traditionally attractive. The rest of me is questionable. I have a wheelchair and a lot of tattoos, so it's a little different. I'm gonna go ahead and bring everybody in. Hello. Hi. This guy's not a loser, okay? He's got his shirt tucked in. How are you doing today? I am good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. You are not my type, but... <laughs> that freaking face! He's like looking to them like, is this supposed to happen? He's been there for five seconds and she already said he's not her type. But listen up, my guy. It's actually because you're not a loser. I know, complicated, a little hard to wrap your head around, but like, count your blessings. Best to be rejected for not being a loser than it is to be rejected for being a loser. You know? Very handsome. Can I ask what your type is? With men, I typically date um, heavier set, tattooed, gross boys that look like they smell like Top Ramen. Uh, chicken or beef? Top Ramen. Beef is good by itself. Chicken is good if you add stuff to it. I like both, but if I'm gonna eat it plain, Beef every time. I'm gonna take like traditional standards and mine into account and give you a seven. Okay. But that's just because I am attracted to losers and you don't seem to be one. Hello. Okay, loser or not loser. He doesn't look heavy set. He doesn't look stinky. Maybe a little bit of stinky. He doesn't look gross. He looks like he has the shrimp top ramen, you know? I just think he likes shrimp. I really like your outfit. You. you have a very nice bone structure. All your features like fit really nicely together. That's the kind of compliment that gets you good. You know, she didn't say you look nice. She said, I like your outfit. You've got a good bone structure. Your features all fit. Like that's in depth. This guy is going to remember that forever, probably. Unless she roasts him right after this. Yeah, no, he's cute. What you're doing is working. I think I'm going to give you a 10. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Here's a question. We're going to get philosophical in here. Just for a moment. If someone who likes losers gives you a 10, you got a 10. Good job. You got a 10. Congratulations. But it's from someone who's attracted to losers. <laughs> hmm, I don't know how I feel about that. I would be happy to get a 10 probably, but I would also be like, hmm, I definitely would be up at night being like, wait a minute. Does that mean I'm a loser? What would you rank me on a scale of one to 10? Probably an eight. Your tattoos are f***ing sick. That's like sick. The dyed hair is sick. You have like a very like Greek goddess type face. Like it's sick. But that's like not necessarily like the type of person I'm always looking for. Okay. 
Does cool. that make sense? Yeah, that was like the n nicest possible way to say that I'm not your type. Your tattoos are sick, your dyed hair is sick, your face is sick, your wheelchair is sick. <laughs> All right. Thank All right, you. we're good. Thank you. Bro, the freaking producer for this show is brutal. They always deliberately leave these awkward situations where they don't give the people up front instruction sometimes when they need it. Like, look at this interaction. Yeah, that was like the n nicest possible way to say that I'm not your type. One, two, three, All right. four, Thanks. five, Thanks. five seconds. Bro, speed it up next time, okay? That five seconds felt like a lifetime. I'm Ty Cita. You have a very nice smile. I like the nose ring. I think you're very pretty. Wow, thank you. You do, however, remind me a little bit of my ex-roommate who I am not a fan of. So oh, to get back at them, you're gonna use me? Oh. Yeah, I hated my roommate because they were cool and not a loser. Mm, so you're out of here again. Like, is that an insult or is it a compliment? I don't know. Life is weird. Life is mysterious. I think I'm gonna give you like a, like a seven. You're still very, very pretty. And I know I just, it's not fair for me to associate that. You know, it's life. I'm Craig. Nice to meet you. Yes, Craig. He's in. Although he's dressed neatly. It definitely doesn't give off smelly vibes to me. And that's what I'm bummed about. Also, as a Greg, there's a personal vendetta I have against all Craigs on the planet. Because every time I introduce myself as Greg, people are always like, what was that? Craig? How many Craigs do you know? How many Gregs do you know? I know I'm team Greg. I'm a little biased, but I think Greg is the more common name, right? Think about it. The only Craig I can think of right now is Daniel Craig, and it's his last name. Craig as a last name is weird. Anyway, back to the video. You look like you take care of yourself. Is that not true? You look like you take care of yourself and you're organized and clean. Mm, I don't know about that. This guy has been listening from the other room. He knows that she likes losers. He's like, to be honest with you, I'm a little bit stinky. Kind of that chicken, chicken beef, top ramen. You know, a little powder, a little packet of powder that comes in the in the ramen i usually just kind of sniff that uh i throw the noodles away usually or i put them in my bath like a bath bomb i forget what she said she said heavier set smells like top ramen and it's gross i think yeah you gave me a little shrug i don't like work out religiously but i try to keep myself put together as best as possible your style i think is not something that i would personally be drawn to i kind of like um grungier dirtier looking people imagine the mind-blowing moment that this would be you put on a nice shirt you put on some nice shoes you put on some nice pants you make sure your hair looks nice because that's what you do at a job interview a first date whatever you do that you go on a show, you're basically doing all of the above. It's kind of an interview, kind of a first date. You're also on, not TV, but you're on a popular YouTube channel. 1.5 million views, you look nice. What do they tell you? I don't know, I usually like people that are more stinky and dirty and gross and sweaty and have mustard stains on their shirt and they have Cheeto fingers. Bruh. I wanna give you like a six. Oh, come on. Tell her you're stinky. Tell her you're stinky. Your socks match your shirt, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> your socks match your shirt, that's cool. The last three people, she was like, oh, your pants are cool, your smile's cool, your bone structure's cool, you got a nice smile, I like your nose ring. She's been on it. This guy, she looked him up and down for a full minute and said, your socks and your shirt are the same color. And that's not a compliment. That's pretty easy to do, match blue to blue. If that's the most impressive thing you did, then, uh... Cringe. Thank you. Thank you, it's nice meeting you. Yeah. Hi. Nice to meet you. Right when you first came out, I noticed that your shoes match your jacket. That's cool. <laughs> you very well put together. I like the outfit. It's very modern. It's very chic. Thank you. I think a lot of people would see that you're like very pretty and maybe think that you're not nice because typically people just automatically assume you're a bitch because you're pretty. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. <laughs> I'm not a bitch. Like from some male fragility. Maybe. What was that? Male fragility. Maybe. Male fragility. Eh. Oh, is that like for men that are insecure? Unlike me, ladies. The only reason why you say something like that is because you want to draw attention to yourself for being like, wow, look how aware I am about male fragility. Me, 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 me. Mostly women. Yeah. They're both like, it's actually more like women that do that. But I'm like, women are judgmental. Let me judge you. Um, I will give you a solid eight. I think that you're very traditionally attractive and you also seem very nice it's a very good combination thank you yeah i'll take it 
Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I've okay, loser or not loser? They both have like the same shade of like the teal blue. That's gonna be brought up, and if it's not, I'm gonna be pissed. Our girl is not gonna like you. She's gonna be nice about it, but she's she's not gonna say that you're her type. I like your hair. <laughs> I really like your hair. Okay, it's thank like my God. Ideal color. I want to. Oh yeah, do is it six? You're very, you're very cute, and I like the hair is very cool. And if your outfit matched that, then yeah, I would rate you higher. So how would you change my outfit for you then? Just kind of like dress like a scumbag. I, <laughs> if she was in like a band tee and like some ripped black jeans. Hello. Hi, I'm Emily. Hi, Emily. I'm Elena. You are gorgeous, but like gorgeous and cute at the same time. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you're adorable. You're the best. <laughs> Wholesome, but not our girl's type, right? She's way too nice, way too put together, way too clean. I had braces for two years, but I took them off myself. How did you? With nail clippers. Ah! I thought my teeth were straight enough. Okay. <laughs> Good job. So I think on my standards and society standards, I think would both probably be a 10. A 10? I don't know. I feel like she bailed on her own thing. She was like, I like losers, but they didn't bring in any losers. So she was just like being harsh at first, so she's like seven, seven, six, and then she was like nine, ten, ten, everyone gets a ten, everyone's a ten. Because she realized otherwise she was gonna look like a jerk by just roasting everyone. Eh, no losers. But imagine if someone had just rolled out of bed late and just been like just a dump and showed up and was like, ah, I didn't really have time to like get dressed, I just wore like whatever I grabbed, my dirty jeans and a white t shirt with mustard stains. She's like Perfect! A disaster of a person! What a way to win. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a good time watching it. Uh, it's only six minutes long, but it felt like an eternity. Um, but yeah, if you're a loser and you smell like Top Ramen, then like, chin up. You're gonna be okay. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.